Hi, how are you? I'm Colleen with Mural Maker and More. Today I'm going to show you a really easy method of painting grapes just using a few colors of craft paint. We're just going to fill in the base coat with um, any red or purple color. I'm using True Burgundy Today by Folk Art and I'm going to do the outline first and just fill in all the round edges to start, moving away all the way around the cluster of grapes. Okay, if it's not too round, don't worry about it. We'll fix it a little bit later. Now that I've got the outline painted, I'm just going to go ahead and fill everything in. But I want it kind of opaque, meaning I don't want too much white showing through because this is the base coat. Then we're going to highlight and shade. But right now we're just going to fill it all in and then let that dry. Once you have the base coat completely painted in, we're going to start highlighting. And this is where you're going to determine where the grapes go. I'm highlighting with a really, really pale pink. You could also use a white though. And you can decide by choosing where you highlight which grape is on the top of the cluster and which grape is going to be more on the bottom of the cluster. It'll make more sense as we go along. But right now all you're going to do is you can paint a few circles. You don't have to go one by one. You can just paint a few circles. You can also follow my diagram on my um, blog. That's fine too if you're a little uneasy about doing this. But let me show you something. You see how I'm just getting the tiniest little line? What I do is just take the smallest little corner of the brush and just a tiny, teeny, tiny little bit of paint. Okay? That's all you need. And then you just do a little semicircle. Doesn't have to be perfect because eventually we're going to cover it up anyway. But to start with, just have fun making some circles. And if you're not sure where they go, no worries. Just keep going. We can always cover it up with paint if you're not happy with the way it's looking. But just continue on and highlighting your grapes. When you highlight, it brings things forward. When you shade, it pushes things away. So in a cluster of grapes, some come forward, some go back. And that's exactly what you want. You might wind up with a few areas where you're not going to get a perfect circle. See how this is not quite the perfect circle? It's okay. Continue with the highlighting and make it a circle. And then we'll put that grape behind this grape. Okay, some might be bigger than others. That's okay too. You can do the same thing here if you'd like. And turn that one big grape into two. It's not going to look like the grapes are behind each other until we do our shading, which we'll do in the next step. You can also highlight the tops of these grapes if you'd like, either with a full semicircle or just a little touch of pink or white if that's what you have. It's up to you. Now we're going to do some shading. You can use any dark brown or even a dark red if you'd like. I'm using what's called raw umber burnt umber. Any of your darker browns are going to work though. It just needs to be a little bit darker than the red that you have there. And all I'm going to do is wherever there's a pink semicircle, I'm going to put the brown right next to it. Except on the upper grapes, of course. So here, I'm going to go ahead and put some brown. If you cover up a little bit of a pink next to it, don't worry about that. What we're going to do by shading is create some depth between the highlighting and the shaded grapes. So some are going to look like they come forward and some are going to look like they're sitting behind. It doesn't have to be perfect. And when you're done with this, you're going to feel like you've got quite a mess going on. And don't worry about it because we're going to fix it at the very last part. But right now, just go ahead and shade, and then you can see where now all of a sudden it's starting to 
look like a full grape, not just a red blob. My shading's done, my highlighting's done, and now it looks pretty messy, huh? But watch what happens. We're going to take the same red that we started with, the True Burgundy, and we're just going to go ahead and go right back over the grapes. This time, I'm going to actually paint in circles, though. When you first get started, it's going to seem like you're just covering up everything that you just painted, the highlighting and the shading, but you're not. It's going to peek through. If you miss some of the brown, don't worry about it. If you miss some of the pink, that's okay. Let that show through too. But we're just going to go ahead and recoat all the grapes. You might need to rinse your brush fairly often on this to get a smooth coat of paint. Just so that it's not really, really damp. That's what you want. And you can clean up those edges on the grape if you want. On the outside, like here. This top coat is going to help you on that. Now, what might happen until you get used to doing the uh, what's called side loading, where you take just the very edge of your brush and put it in the tape, in the paint. What might happen is you might get some of this uh, too thick, too wide of highlighting showing through, and you're not happy with that. All you need to do is just add some more paint right to that area. It, after it dries, you'll see more of the highlighting and shading. But add, so add one coat at a time so you don't completely lose your highlighting. But you go just right over those areas where it seems just a little too thick and it'll camouflage it really nicely. What I do is just dip my brush into the medium and work it back and forth. Then you pick up, again, just a little bit of the pink and then just do a little bit of highlighting. And the glaze gives it a little bit of translucency, meaning it's not completely opaque. So you can just go to town just with a little tiny bit. So I, um, I absolutely love floating medium. It's just one of the things that I use all the time. But you don't have to use it. But see how that smooths out? And it's not quite so bold. That's another... Um, okay, there we go. That's pretty bold. So, too bold. Here's another thing that the medium does. It, give, it increases the open time which means it stays, the paint stays wet longer. So you can just come along with a clean brush and take most of that off, just like that. Okay? You can do as much or as little as you like. And there you have simple grapes, three colors, red, light pink, and a shading color. Thanks for joining me today on How to Paint Grapes with Mural Maker and more. 